happy Friday, I'm about to get my run on. Makes you feel way better through the day. You're gonna spend about an hour in the gym and see what's up. See what's up for the day. Gonna get some miles in, you know? Gotta get some miles in. All right, made it to the gym. Great pace. Time to get my workout on. Done with the workout. Put in a solid hour. Feel good. Still gotta run home though. <laughs> I'm gonna take the long way. Back. Okay, feeling great. So we got two topics of the day. The one, the first one is Brexit because I mean that's a huge deal. That's a big deal. And even though we're Americans and most of the people who will be watching this live in America or the United States, uh, Brexit will uh, will affect us as well. You just don't know it yet. The second thing is uh, Fuzzy Tube was out at the airport and someone stole Alex Wasabi's camera. They tracked him down. And the person who stole the uh, the actual camera ended up being a CEO for a company. Now, Fuzzy won't release who this CEO is. Now, do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? We're going to discuss that in just a little bit. Okay, first thing we're going to talk about is Brexit. <sighs> now, it's really quick. This is how I feel about Brexit. It's not riddled with super facts or anything like that now because I'm an American and uh, this is how I feel about Brexit. And I did watch the uh, stock, mar stock market. Yeah, stock market, totally one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, there are downfalls to the US with this, but I kind of feel bad about the uh, what's going on with the whole deal, especially with all the British people, because this could be super good and super bad. And so far, right now, any kind of turbulence right now, is because there's a lot of insecurities and that's the reason why the uh, stock market is taking a dump is because of all the insecurities of people going oh 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 anytime the market does something like that where there's a lot of insecurities it always tanks for a little while however this is how i feel about brexit all right i feel like there's a household with a whole bunch of roommates everybody has a job everybody contributes to the household okay you might hate your roommates. They might be complete jerks, whatever. I mean, <laughs> the, the owner of the house can be a complete jerk as well. So you got this guy, Britton, who uh, he's like, you know what, I'm doing okay. I think I can go on my own. And uh, I really don't like these people in my household anyhow. They just annoy me. They steal my cable and my Wi-Fi. I mean, I'm just out of here. You know, I'd save money if I just, if I just bail, you know? So all the other people are scrambling right away because now they lost that source of income that comes into that house to pay for the bills and whatnot. I know this is really super simple breakdown. I, I apologize, but I'm trying to make it as super simple as humanly possible. So they're freaking out going, oh my God, where are we gonna get the rest of the rent money? Now we're gonna have to raise the money for this and we're gonna have to do that. While Britain's pretty much going, okay, now I gotta find a new house. I have a little bit of time to do it. I have to find, you know, new people to go hang with, which would be like the trade routes and stuff like that. And also make my own way. That's pretty cool. So we don't know if it's gonna fail, like they're gonna leave the house, not do, go so, you know, do so good and then try to come back, or if they're gonna go out and actually be really good at what they're doing and kind of like just mature and grow and do awesome things. That's what we're hoping happens. However, we don't know yet. So that's why the stock market is tanking. Give it some time. Let's see if it goes up. I know the pound right now is really far down, but this is pretty much how I think about Brexit. That's an American's view, at least my view. Let's put that disclaimer out there. So now let's go off to the next topic. Okay, next topic. We're gonna talk about Fuzzy Tube and uh, this guy who is totally like still in uh, Alex Wasabi's camera and then you know, taking off and then putting it in his girlfriend's bag. And then, you know, there was this whole what to do about it and stuff like that. And finally she, she got it out of the bag or they got it out of the bag. They found out this guy really did steal it, but he's like a CEO of a really big corporation. And Fuzzy Tube basically said that he didn't want to come out and blow this guy's name up, uh, that he could, but he won't because his morals say he doesn't. Now, this is how I feel about this. And that's always how I feel about things. And that's what I'm telling you because how I personally perceive things, not the right thing to do, not the wrong thing to do, but how I feel and what I would have done in the situation. I totally would have blew that guy's spot up. 
Now, the reason I would have is because he's a corporate CEO, okay? If he's done this with a camera from somebody at the airport, what has he done with retirement funds, pensions, all that stuff? What is he doing to his own people? It, usually people who have shady practices outside of work have super shady practices inside of work. So it would I would really question this guy, if, if this was my company and he was the CEO, I would really question his morals and his business ethics. And that's why I would blow it up. But that's my personal opinion about it. You know, you're still on a camera, a, a, an $800 camera at an airport. If you make millions of dollars a year or you're making so much money, a, so much amount of money a year, why would you be doing that? Just go to the camera store and buy your own camera. But if he has that shady practice, there and he doesn't have the morals to stop himself what is he doing with all this money with this major corporation that's how i feel about it i think he should get blown up for it but you know social justice warriors everywhere would have a field day they'd probably put his personal information out there like his home address and stuff and that would be totally wrong just to basically i would say just expose who he is but you know people take things to the next level and i guess i can understand fuzzy's tube way of how he feels about it, that people would take it to the next level. So I do honor FouseyTube's um, moral <laughs> opinion of what he should do and, and how he's handling it. I'm just saying on my own, I'll blew that guy's spot right off. Let's get back to the regular day. So let's talk about the weekend. All right, so what's going on with the weekend? There's a lot of stuff going down on uh, in Williamsport and stuff like that, but there's no races or anything like that to, to go to. So I'm gonna be kind of bored and I'm most likely going to be Facebook stalking everybody else that's totally gonna be racing and be super jealous about it because I wanna be there too. However, I can't because there's no races anywhere near me. So here's where I sit. But 4th of July is coming up. Williamsport's going to explode with life. This is the... the very few times this town really gets super enthused about stuff. Uh, they go full tilt out for it. They have a big fireworks show. They have a whole bunch of festivals, festivities, all that good stuff. And also, it's uh, was 150 years, 150 years. I think it's a, it's a, it's Williamsport's like 150th birthday. So they're gonna go all out. Lots of money in fireworks, though. Roman Atwood would be totally proud. <laughs> I'm going to have a link in the description, so if you want to check out the whole FouseyTube, uh, the whole theft and whatnot of the camera, I'm going to make sure that I link it down in below in the description box so you can check it out. You can formulate what you would have done and what your opinion is about the entire thing. So just check down below if you want to check that out. All right, back to vlog style. <laughs> so I guess there's some more stuff going on this weekend. I guess it's like a homemade stuff day or whatever it's basically like a big arts and crafts fair and everybody's getting see you can see all the tents and the craziness going on there and they have a mule that pulls this thing back there that's kind of like um, a carousel it's really weird looking I kind of feel bad for the mule oh so contest update what I'm gonna do is not this Friday next Friday that's what I'm gonna choose I know it's like a day shy of what I thought I was gonna do but I want to do it on a Friday because I think Friday would be the day to do it other than picking it on a, on a Saturday eh, Friday's kind of the thing you know so I'm gonna pick that out so make sure you like comment and subscribe on that video so you're entered to win also like comment and subscribe on this video as well because you know that's just cool <laughs> so I enjoy making these and uh, putting out content for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy the content and maybe enough to uh, come back check it out get some views and uh, get some subscribers so anywho what's going on today truth be told i'm really super jealous of everybody who's at vidcon right now now i went you know i'm bringing this channel back up from uh you know basically the first time i opened a youtube channel was back in like 2006 7 whatever i mean it was a long time ago it was when youtube first started out and uh, now I'm doing these again, and I just don't, you know, I haven't made enough, I haven't done enough uh, to, to bring my noob level back up, you know? So I'm super, super jealous of all the people who get to be at VidCon, because yeah, you're missing out on such a great experience. I mean, Casey Neistat's going to have, like, one of the, like, super amazing uh, experiences with this, one, you know, this 360 video and all the VR goggles over at the Samsung booth, and that's one person I follow very heavily. I think Casey Neistat is a great, uh, he's a great vlogger. He vlogs every day. His content's flawless, like flawless every day. Just amazing content. And if you haven't looked him up yet, you should. You definitely should. The man is like YouTuber of the year. He is just everyday grind. 
and just really putting out some amazing content. I'll even link them in my description. If you haven't checked them out, I highly suggest you do. Um, it's just totally worth it. It's one of those, you know, it's, he's one of those people where you watch him and he's so upbeat and so amazing. It will inspire you to be great, to do great things and just, you know, get out there and uh, really push life to its limits. Oh, VidCon, I wish I was there. So I'm trying to figure out what to do this weekend. I'm gonna do like a lot of outdoors activities, pretty much because it's gonna be a really nice weekend, very nice weather. So I wanna be outside a lot. So I'm thinking a little bit of lake time because it has a little beach thing incorporated. That would be great. Maybe a little hiking, a little bit of just getting out there, riding the bike, you know, just being as, as outdoorsy as I possibly can. I don't wanna be stuck inside. I don't wanna Netflix it. I, I don't wanna do any of that stuff. I wanna be outside. I wanna be chilling, you know, someplace. Real nice and calm, scenic, just, you know, relaxing it out, you know, getting ready for the week. And because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on this week, not only do I have to make the videos and all that good stuff, come up with new topics and stuff that keeps you guys entertained. There's also a lot of adult adulting I have to do, which, uh, man, adulting sucks, but we got to do it, right? At least they tell us that or, you know, what they say, the two things that are for sure in life is death and taxes. Well... If you don't pay taxes, they pick you up. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I'm paying my taxes, by the way. IRS, if you're watching this, I'm just letting you know. All my stuff's up. It's paid. <laughs> but, you know, you still got to do adult stuff through the week. You can't just, you know, lollygag it. So I got to be a responsible adult. But this weekend, I'm just going to chill. Maybe I'll make a video. Maybe I'll just chill out the entire time. You know, sky's the limit, really. The only thing really is going to limit what I do is... uh funds in the bank and uh how far i can drive that's about it so i will see you guys next time which will be monday if i don't throw something out there sooner i still have ocr videos five spot reviews are still coming still have all that stuff coming up so hopefully you're looking forward to that uh and i will see you guys on monday